So what is this plan? What is this purpose? His plan, he is so in love with his creation that exists only for him and not for itself. Like an author, the play and all the characters, they exist only for the author. They have no existence outside of the author. But he so loves his creation. He wants the creation to exist for itself. And there is only one way that it can exist for itself. For now it only is an animated body, the whole vast creation. And he desires that it cease to be the poem existing only for himself, but to exist for itself. And there's only one day and one way that he can do it. He can do it only by dying and becoming his poem. Only as he dies and becomes you, will you live for yourself. So unless I die, said he, thou canst not live. But if I die, I shall arise again, and thou with me. So God dies. Actually dies and becomes his poem. He becomes you. And now you must dream the dream of death as he dreams it. The poets speak of it as the dream of life. I rather go with Blake and say my emanation yet my wife till the sleep of death is over. Shelley calls it the dream of life. He has awakened from the dream of life. Tis we who lost in stormy vision keep with phantom and unprofitable sight. But I will go with Blake. They're all great, but this is the dream of death. Where everything comes into being, it appears, it waxes, it wanes, and it vanishes. When the dream is over, man individually will awake. And when he awakes, he is the dreamer that is God the Creator.